Hello there guys, for today's video I'm going to show you how to create a rainbow in Photoshop and also we will dive deeper into using gradient tool, using the gradient editor to adjust the color to create a rainbow colors and applying vibrance. So let's get started. So here in our document, I chose this image where we will go into apply the rainbow effect. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to select on the gradient tool. Okay, but where to find that? Okay, so going on to the toolbar, well, you can see the gradient tool has this symbol. It looks like a gradient symbol. See? All right, so I'm going to click on that. And now the next step here is we're going to click on this one. All right, make sure that you click this one. All right, and then we're going to set the color. I'm going to click on this and this gradient editor will pop up. Okay, so for the color, I'm going to tell you step by step on how to do the rainbow color. Okay, so first on the color, okay, so I'm going to drag this one here. Okay, double click on this and this color picker will appear. All right, so the first color that we're going to put here is the color red. Okay, so there you go. Okay, the next one. I'm going to create a duplicate of this by pressing hold out and then click and drag it. All right. Now this one, this color, I'm going to double click on this. And this time I'm going to set this color to orange because that's the next to color to, rain, to the red, right? Okay. So same, create another point, hold out, click and drag. Now this one, I'm going to set double click on this. And this one, I'm going to set this one to color yellow. Okay. All right, let's create another one. Held out, click and drag, double click on it. Now this one, put this one to green. Select OK. Another one, hold out. OK. This one is color blue. Select OK. And for the last color, hold out, then click and drag, double click on it. Then choose violet and then select okay all right now once we already set this one okay now i'm going to double click on this point for the smoothness okay so once i once i click this one i'm going to set the opacity of this to zero percent okay so you can see the, the color is gone okay and i'm going to create another duplicate of this hold out then click and drag it near the red color Okay, like this. All right, now this one for the opacity, I'm going to bring back the color. So I'm going to set this one to 100. And there you go. All right, and then I'm going to hold Alt and click to create a duplicate layer of this point to the purple one. See? Okay, and then click on it. All right, and this one, the one that this point that has zero opacity, I'm going to create a duplicate layer of this. So hold Alt, then click and drag it near to the color red just like that then click it see and then another one hold out and create a duplicate and i'm going to put that one near the color purple for the violet and this one here click on this for the opacity turn this one to zero okay now we already have this effect and by the way if you find this video helpful so far Please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Uh, going back, the next step here is we're going to continue fixing on this by compressing the colors. So I'm going to compress this one, move this one to the right. Okay, also the blue to the right. So I'm gonna keep on compressing them to have a to create a thin effect later on. Okay, and there you go. And not only here. Also, this one's for the stops. Okay. Put it here. Put it here. Okay. And, and also the white ones here. And there. Okay. So make sure that you created this one because this is what you really need to set up to create a rainbow effect. And once all said and done, select OK. All right. Now you can see that we already created that effect. And just what I've said, you must click on this, all right? This one, the second one. Okay, and now once all said and done, now I'm going to create a new layer 
to go in here their layers panel select on this add a layer all right so with that gradient tool selected i'm going to click and drag it to create a gradient like this all right see next up here is we're going to add a mask on this rainbow layer okay so let's set this one name as rainbow okay and then select on that let's create a mask go at the bottom select on this all right there you go we already created a mask and then with this thumbnail mask selected i'm going to the toolbar and then select on the brush tool or b for the shortcut key and for the opacity i'm gonna set the opacity to 70 for the flow to 40 percent and then for the foreground color i'm gonna set this one into black because i am going to remove some areas here okay so this one i'll just keep clicking on it all right once done now i'm going to change the blending mode of this rainbow layer okay so select on this click on this one and then choose soft light okay so once i did that now you can see that it created like this but it does it still doesn't look so realistic isn't it because the the saturation of this rainbow is too much okay so i'm still going to use the brush tool to lessen so i'm going to hit that thumbnail once again with that brush tool into a black foreground color and then paint on the outside of this rainbow okay so i'm painting under this purple to lessen the saturation okay also here on top on the red ones all right now it's starting to look more better isn't it okay and then with that layer selected i'm going to decrease the opacity to just 70 percent okay and there you have it so if the color is still too strong right now we're going to apply a vibrance so to do that i'm going to press Control, hold it and then click on this thumbnail of the rainbow yeah this one okay so we already created selection on that and then go to the adjustment layer icon click on that and then choose vibrance okay and then for the properties well you can now start adjusting for the vibrance okay to make it more realistic so i'm gonna set this one to negative 25 and there you go all right so now i'm going to show you the before and after so this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to create a rainbow in photoshop